there are many people many muslims who tell me okay brother zakir give the quran to the non muslim but only give the english translation don't give the arabic text or give the hindi translation the urdu translation i have got no problem if someone only gives the translation of the quran but i personally prefer giving the arabic text along with the translation why because the translation is the work of a human being and no human being is perfect as i mentioned earlier that no translation is perfect and if there is a mistake in the translation it will not be attributed to allah subhanahu wa taala because if we check it up with the arabic text besides the translation we can easily verify that if there is a mistake in the translation it is the work of the human being and not of allah subhanahu wa taala so i personally prefer giving along with the translation the arabic text so that if there is a mistake allah subhanahu wa taala he will not be responsible it is the responsibility of the translator and furthermore if allah holds me responsible i will be in good company i will be in the company of the beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam why because if you read the seer of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he wrote letters to non muslim kings in which he dictated verses of the quran he told the sahabas he dictated letters to non muslim kings in which he dictated verses of the quran he sent letters to nicus of abyssinia to emperor heraclius emperor of persia king of yemen king of egypt many of these kings alhamdulillah they accepted islam but some of them they even tore the letter some of them even trampled it beneath their feet imagine the verses of the quran dictated by the prophet they were torn by these kings and some of them even trampled it beneath their feet and one such letter is available in the coptic museum in turkey in which the prophet had dictated the verse of the quran of surah al imran chapter number 3 verse number 64 it says kul ya ahlul kitab say o people of the book talo ila kalimatin sawa in bayna baynakum come to common terms as in us and you which is the first term allah na abda illa allah that we worship none but allah wala nushrika bihi shay'an that we associate no partners with him wala yattakhidha ba'duna ba'dan arbaban min dunillah that we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than allah fain tawallu if then they turn back faqulu shadu say be witness be anna muslimun that we are muslims bowing our will to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this verse of the quran was dictated to the non muslim kings by the beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's yet available in the museum the coptic museum in turkey and i want to ask you the question today there are about 14 million arabs who are coptic christians who are christians since generations i am asking the question which translation of the quran will you give to the 14 million coptic arab christians do you want to translate the arabic quran into arabic again you will have to give the original text to these christian arabs who understand arabic as a language arabic is a mother tongue which translation will you give will you give the urdu translation will you give the english translation you have to give the original kalam of allah subhanahu wa taala in arabic that's the reason i personally prefer along with the translation give the original arabic text and the quran was revealed for the whole of human kind and the last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him was sent as a messenger to the whole of human kind